Hello beautiful people, it's your one and only host Dorcas with an, an interesting mini vlog. Did you know that one dollar can feed three people for a lunch in Kibera Slum? The world largest slum in sub-Saharan Africa. As we were taking a walk, we spotted a small Kibandaski hotel and decided to explore the various dishes they were offering. We were welcomed well. As you can see, the table was being cleaned as soon as I sat down, which is very important. Karibuni! We decided to go for ugali, skumawiki, and tripe, popularly known as matumbo in our local language. Eish! <laughs> My guy there was so hungry, he couldn't even wait for the matumbo to arrive. Did you know that ugali is our staple food in Kenya? And did you also know that tripe or matumbo has significant health benefits? It actually has 0.09 mg of vitamin E and 12.07 grams of protein, among other nutrients. <clears throat> By the look of my plate, the matumbo was mouthwatering and I could not help but wait to have a taste. Actually, it was more than what I had expected. And the skumawiki too was so sweet. Just wait and see how I was dealing with the ugali and the matumbo plus skumawiki. Hmm. Look at us. By the way, my friend told me a secret that I didn't know that adding a green or red pepper not only makes it more tastier but also helps prevent food poisoning if you didn't know now you know i also realized that you can ask for an additional ugali just in case yours is finished and you still have some matumbo left on your plate basically known as ugali sosa let me know in the comment if your restaurants you normally go to take food from offer ugali sosa <laughs> Ahem, there is a saying that goes, to truly judge a chef's skills, feast your eyes on the plate of the diner. So let the plate do the talking. The tripe matumbo was so delicious that I almost licked my fingers after finishing the meal. Matumbo contains a lot of fats and a strong smell too. It's recommended to wash your hands using soap and running water afterwards. This will help prevent your hands from smelling and sticky. So guys, that was our meal, costing 80 Kenyan shillings. That is approximately 0 0.50 US dollars of tripe, also known as matumbo. I actually enjoyed the experience. Let me know what are your experiences of eating tripe or matumbo in the comment section. Have been your host Dorcas. Ensure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload any new video, you'll be the one to know. Until next time, bye bye and thank you for watching.